Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about a special type of exponential functions. Now, this is a certain type of exponential functions where uh, there is a certain symbol that we can see. This symbol is E and it stands for exponent and it comes in the base of the function, whereas the power is the variable. For example, e raised to the power x. And this is why we call it natural exponential function because this value e is fixed and we use it in all of the cases wherever there is e. It does not change. Let us see that how it looks like. It definitely uses this small e and the exponent there is having some sort of variable. e stands for exponential. And we must remember the value of e, it is 2.718. Uh, some people may call it magical number, and there is a reason for that. Uh, we shall see a certain formula which will allow us to understand that why we call it a magical number. This number is basically based upon this formula, which is using various time periods. N is showing that set of time periods. As we put N is equal to 1, we get answer which is equal to 2. And when we put 2, we get another value. So in this way, this process continues. But as we reach 365, it reaches a level which is showing us 2.71. So this is very close to the value of E. More surprisingly, when we put 1000, it gives us a value which is approximately the same. Another time, if we increase the value of n by putting another zero, that is, it becomes 10,000, it will give us a value which is again quite similar to the value of e, that is 2.718. Actually, rounding it off, we shall get the same value. And again, even if the value increases and we put more zeros in the value of n, and these are meaningful zeros, these are increasing the values, the answer of the e remains approximately the same. So this is that magical sort of thing that makes us think that it might be some sort of magical number. That even by such large increases in the input, that is the value of n, the output remains the same. Now we should get to the standard form of the natural exponential functions. As you can see, it is very much understandable that it's a function of x and x appears in the exponent, allowing it to be called as an exponential function. And when e is existing in the base, we can say that it is a natural exponential function. Now in this slide, actually we have chosen a few values of x, just in order to see how the numerical answer of this expression appears. On the left hand side, if x is equal to minus 2, the answer would be a fraction that is 0.135. And if this value, that is the value of x is minus 1, it will increase and it increases to 0.36. And this experiment can be done with the positive values of x as well. Where x is equal to 1 and where x is equal to 2, you see the value is increasing. So this is a glimpse of how the value of exponent can be calculated. And you can use your calculators as well because the function is available in that. Now we must know about how the curve looks like when we make it for a natural exponential function. One of the possibilities is that x is a positive value broadly speaking. And the other possibility is that x is a negative value. That is, negative is appended with it. Now, talking about e raised to the power x, a positive value of x, we will get an exponential growth, which is more suitably known as natural exponential growth. And as you can see, the rate of increase is increasing and it is showing a positive slope, which is constantly changing. A sort of mirror image, however, will be produced if we consider a negative value of x. And you can see it's sort of a mirror image. Agar hum shishay mein isko dekhen to aise hai ke daya baya aur baya daya nazar hai. So it is having the same sort of increasing or decreasing trend in this case. If we look at it from the right hand side, it is having a declining trend. 
but it is quite similar or in the best words it is creating a mirror image so this is how the natural exponential functions are plotted and this is how they look like 